Yes, viewers around the world, everywhere we the watchers, we welcome you to yet another fantastic program called Property Matter with uh, experts. Person will be everything as far as to buy land, to buy a house, to build a house, to sell a house, they consign. <laughs> Mr. Debo Adejano with with very own Slimity. It could make we start, say, Andrew Carnegie talk for in words, say, 90% of property owners. They be so, they be millionaire through owning a property. So, how will they take home property? Now, we want to talk about Good Happy. morning, sir. Good morning. How are you doing? Chief Olododo. I'm very well, <laughs> thank you, and good morning. Good morning, Mr. Debo. Let's start by saying thank you for the exclusive show Abby, last, week. last week. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> it's my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> so, we believe today is going to be more fantastic. Yes, so. Better than last week. Yes, so. We yes, so. Because when they move, they go. Small, small. I got to move. As we don't start. I got to move. We are ready to move with you. She? Mm. Okay, That's well, like, I, like uh, Chief Olododo said, I mean, you said, today, we're going to talk about becoming a landlord. Hmm. Becoming a landlord. a landlord. What to and how to. As in what to do and how, how to, to do, do it. it. You know? Very important. Mm -hmm. So, Chief Olododo, mm -hmm. get ready. I want to be a landlord. Abby, it's, it's about time. Well, um, number one thing that you supposed to know when you want to become landlord, like we talked last week, mm. you know, everybody thinks, say, ah, once anything like this, may I just start? But there is what you need to be assured of first mm -hmm. before you start on your journey to becoming a landlord. And that is, say, you get work for hand. Hmm. Source mm. of income. You have to. You must have source of income. There has to be something that you are doing that is fetching you money, meaning that your basic needs of life, other than owning that roof, mm. is taken care of first. At least you they pay your rent, you they you they feed your family, you know, your business they go sell and it don't settle. Mm. Okay. At least you don't reach one stage where we say your basic expenses are taken care of. Okay. That is when we advise that people should then start thinking of how they will now own the roof over their head. Mm. It's very important. Why? Because, you know, like we talked last week, the money where you go take buy property, no be small money. At all. Yeah. So, you know, good way we say, you never see food chop before. <laughs> now, property, you can't de chase. <laughs> if you be say, person go die of hunger. Mm, because person, we don't even de chop belly food before. When he start the journey of property, then they reduce their food small, small. Ah. Yeah, but, uh, that's that's but we don't see those where we say they do them like uh, uh, 10 blocks, one bag. One bag, 20 blocks, and they build the house. Yes, but there is how and where you are going to be getting the 10 blocks, one bag. It can be somebody that is still thinking of how to but eat one no meal. Guess. You can't yeah. raise the 10 blocks. Then, and then. that's what we are hmm. talking about. So you must have settled the fact that if it is that you are employed, you are employed, you are earning salary. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? That salary can at least take care of your... You they eat, whether not two square me, whether not one square me. Go go to say food, they enter <laughs> you they, your mouth. At least you they, something you they... they you person they, don't get balanced life. In a way. In a way. In a way. You know, it's not utterly balanced. We are not talking of El Dorado. Yeah. You mm. understand? But you are, you are comfortable in a way. If you don't start business, mm. that business don't stand Gidiba for ground. Nobody say the business where you still they look for how you go work. How you go work. Uh -huh. yeah. you don't... From the business where you they look for how you go work, you know, good man, you they bring out money, go build house. You go, mm -hmm. you go finish that you business. You go affect the business. Uh, yeah. And if you finish the business, you liquidate it. You go sell the house where you they build last, last. Don't uh -huh. be so, if you don't complete the house. Yeah, see, you see. So, so it's important, okay, that the person would have at least secured the means of livelihood in one way or the other. Mm. If you don't can't do that, the next thing would be that you need to make or take certain decisions. Okay. You need to take certain decisions. It's very important that you take those decisions. Number one of those decisions is where do you want this property? <laughs> where? Location. Where do you want them? Exactly. Yeah. Location. And when we talk about location, there are about three things you have to consider. Mm. One, remember what I said before last week. Mm. Oh, this is your first house. You know me say you must live inside yeah. of her. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm. You know me. So, location, number one thing about location that you have to consider is affordability. Hmm. Is it a location that you can afford? 
It's for very some, important. Some land for some areas can drive you back to your village. Exactly. <laughs> so, no thing say because uh, the place, like next week now, we go talk about people, they always say something like, far, it's too far, it's too far. Mm. We go, I know we go get the door. Uh, hey, we go talk how far is far next week. How far? So that you will know, say, all these places where we talk. You know, far. Yes, hey, well, no, we, no, go, we go break out next week. So, location is important. And the location we are talking about is in relation to what your pocket can afford. Yeah. You understand? Look for what you can afford location-wise. Mm. That's number one. If you have to now stay there, if it is you are considering a place that you must stay, then you have to go further and consider certain things regarding location. Okay. Waiting with that one. Of course, you have to look at the... If you stay there, what's the proximity of the place? To your yeah, place work. of work. Yes. To your place of work. It's very important. Mm. What's the proximity? So that you don't, you are not suffering yourself all the Spend time. Make a person know where else. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, then your, your social traffic, life. Yeah. Your social life. How will it be affected? Mm. Some of us, we go to some certain churches, some certain mosques, some certain societies, mm. some certain clubs. We want to visit some certain family mm. members or be close to them. Our parents are aged. Mm -hmm. We don't want to be, to be far, far from, from them. them. Your social life. How will it be affected? What's the proximity Where person go of, this, this, of your social circle? Mm. You understand? Mm. It's very important. Then, health-wise, mm. how will staying in that place help your health and not affect it adversely? Mm. God bless if you wear out. Abi, that's the way they do inside mode. Where I mean, that time, boss, where they go track. from a uh, this thing that also the way one enter inside, 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 for is grand 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 grand. <laughs> go to sleep, means I'm on Tony. You call this house 12 o'clock in the midnight, and, wake up for. And do you know that there are people who, in Lagos, that is their life? Ben. They get to the house around 12, 1, yeah. 1 a.m., the and they, leave, they have to leave the house, not wake up. Yeah. They have to leave. leave the house by 4, oh, that 4 yeah. the not wake by 3, 30. Meaning that that person probably just has like about 2, 3 hours to sleep. of rest. A lot of them, they will get to work and then sleep first Start sleeping. <laughs> before tired. it is 8 o'clock or something, you know. But their life is not really so together. So it's very important. Where? Okay, where? Then you also ask yourself in terms of location, what, what type of community do you want to stay? Mm -hmm. mm. When you don't say, okay, I won't stay for Isolo. I won't stay for Maryland. I won't stay for what type of community? Is it a self-organized community? I mean, at the or a Barula. centrally organized community. Mm. What I mean by that is, do you want to buy from an estate that is controlled by, you know, a well-structured mm. mm. all this estate developer? You know, a well-structured organization or body is controlling it. There are bylaws, there are rules and regulation, security is taken care of, how people should, uh, neighborliness mm. is taken care of, and all of that. Is that where you want to stay? Or you want to stay in the place where you are the go. association? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, uh, but but I get a good do for the solo. Uh, I get it. Uh, where are you? Those places where you all man for himself. Then, ah, go for us all. Hmm. For a sad, they know they lock down. They know they close. Who wants it? Who wants it? Go go slow, go slow, go slow, go slow, go slow, go <laughs> Daddy, they enter for night. He go fly, go out. Seriously. Yeah, for example. So, you guy. know, so you have to ask yourself, do you want to stay in a sad type of a place? <laughs> yeah? Or well, I get the good in? You go to see ourselves. Yeah, I'm going to get a car. 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 You know, so you have to decide yourself if that is what, where you want to stay. Mm. Organized place or where everybody is left to themselves. So that's the number one decision. Where? When you make that decision of where, you have to proceed to making decision of size. Okay. What type of I'll size be. of home mm -hmm. do you want to have? Mm -hmm. Mr. Debo, the size mm. is... Is it, it a single family? And even if it's a single family, is it one bedroom? Is it two bedroom? Is it one room room? Mm. That you want to start with. That's why right, that you want to start with. Speaking or of is size. it two bedroom? Is it three bedroom and all of that? Speaking yes. Of size, sir. Sir. Yes. Speaking of size, sir. I think it's in... Can we really determine? Maybe our pocket go. No, is that not a factor of our pocket? Even for the of way, course, I was even about to say that. Even for the way that we mentioned, I think Maybe everything has to do with the pocket. 
Say no be pocket it Because be really, everybody will want a very refined place. Know, like everybody will want a very cool, calm place. But then, now your pocket, now you go see the time. Now you go determine. Whether you feel afford. You know, say, we don't talk and before we actually start. Say, your pocket is important. Mm. Mm. So, yes, your pocket will determine where you will stay because of affordability. Mm. And I've said that, don't start waiting because you, you there is a particular place you have in mind. Mm. Go for where you can afford. So, in terms of, but within that place that you can afford, you can consider all of these things that mm -hmm. we are talking about. Then, in terms of size, you see, why size is important is that even though this is your days of little beginning, mm. humble beginning, humble beginning, <laughs> you can have big dreams. Yeah, sure. There is what is called incremental development mm -hmm. in housing, and that's really the way a lot of us develop in this part of the world. Mm. Okay, so I will take the case of my. Of my dad, for example, again, we moved to Iraqi real estate in 1982. Mm. That Iraqi is TV booth. Exactly. I, 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 pro I literally know the story of a lot of houses. I, I, I said, I didn't lie. Exactly. At all. At all. Booth, at all. So we stayed in Iraqi real estate. And at the time we moved into the property, the property right now, as we speak, if you want to describe it, you say it's a two story building with a boys' quarters. Okay. okay. okay? But when we moved there in 1982, it was just the ground floor mm. that my dad had done. Maybe it was just the ground floor that. and dead. Mm. That was how we moved in. Where is dead? But you see, dead, that's in decking. Decking, yeah, decking. Decking, they call it dead. Hey, what you call No, you okay, think okay, okay, okay. Decking. Decking. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Decking, okay? Ground floor and now decking, decking they take cover. Them. That's mm -hmm. how we moved into that property. In fact, if I remember, those days when they debuted, there's what they call whitewash. That's what they first paint out. When yeah. you plaster and finish, you go like one white substance like, like this. They mix, something like they that. mix in water like this and they used to paint it first before mm. they now put paint, okay? That was what the house was painted with, mm. even internally. Hmm. And that was how we moved in. But well, now, over time, in fact, he completed that house. The story of my father is a very funny one. <laughs> we moved in there in 1982. He completed that house as it stands today in 1995. Mm -mm. Wow. Civil servant, I mean, what up that option does he have? Here, Lara, go do a small what other option small. does he have? So he completed it in 1995, mm -hmm. meaning it took like about is that 13 years, 13 years. to complete mm -hmm. the house. So that is what I mean by size. Small size. So he had thought he had already made up his mind that he was going to have a block of six flats. Mm. He had the design, he had everything. But he would do it gradually. Mm. Because if he had just... Some people, some other people, what, what? they did was built their BQ first. Okay. Then and moved there. Yeah. 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 So where that's where another strategy. Then they, they now build the duplex later mm. or block of flats mm. in front. That's what I mean by All you have to BQ decide... Out. You have to decide your size. Mm. It's important. So that you don't just look at your pocket now mm. and go and take a decision that yeah, will yeah. put you in the cave. Yeah, you know, will that will just you. limit you. You know, mm. you are just you just you just peg your life there. No, it, it won't be fair on you. So mm. think about the size. Very important. Single family, multiple family. Do you want to earn rent mm. from there apart from you staying, staying there? Yeah. Mm. Okay. You have to decide that also. It's very important. Mm. Then the next decision. Mm. Mm. Do you want to buy or you want to, to build? build? Hey, I don't, that which one. I, don't, I don't even know which do one is better. Do you want to buy or do you want to build? I realize that a lot of people actually, mm. left to them, if the finance issue were sorted out, mm. they would have preferred to just buy. I want to because ask you a question. Because of the strengths. Yes. The question I want to ask you is, to buy or to build, mm. which one is more affordable? <laughs> mm. you know, I will tell you thing. that depending on who is taking the decision, mm. is when you can talk about affordability. There are a lot of people who thought they would be able to save money by venturing to build on their own. Mm. At the end of They're the day, cost, cut cost. at the end of the mm. day, when they aggregate what they've spent, they've spent more than they would have required to buy Bye. the property. However... This is another issue. It's still this issue of how do we fund our housing. Mm. That is an issue in the industry. If a person does not have access to mortgage and does not have money stashed somewhere mm. to be able to buy up front, mm. and the person is buying from, is not taking instrumental payment, mm. it means he may not be able to afford to buy, even mm -hmm. if he wants yes, to. Yeah. Be, but he has money that to he can build, get gradually yes, and build. build. So he would be left with no choice but, uh, than to build. 
Mr. Debo, you quickly talk something. I want to make we look into around this sort of mortgage. Mm. How is mortgage doing in Nigeria? Oh, no, Dodo. Chief, oh, no, Dodo. Make we no run ahead of ourselves. Because you made mess of mortgage. I know, I know, I know. Make we so no run ahead Nigeria. of ourselves. He day uh, and he no day. <laughs> he get a CB. But now topic, where we feel treat? Uh -uh, we go treat him. Now, one whole episode topic. Okay. Uh, we go treat him. We go treat so many topics. Just stay tuned with us and you'll be getting a lot of this. We are just bringing it out gradually, as it were. So, buy or build. And how you take that decision? Now, your pocket go determine. Your pocket. Choice. Your pocket is at the end of the day. Your pocket, what you see now and in your foreseeable future. Hmm. Is what will help you determine whether you want to buy or you want to build. Mm. Some people can qualify. If you have a former regular job and you earn fairly well, you understand? If you talk to some of these banks, mortgage banks yeah, like Tifolo Dodo, yeah. you may be able to qualify for mortgage mm. or even use some of the opportunities available in the country. National Housing Fund, those ones still, they pass one new law now, a <laughs> bill now, they, they update the bill of 2004. Four. In 2018, Senate don't. I mean, House Assembly don't pass them, but President never assent to them. Okay, get some uh, small, small things about that. Be myself, we, me, myself, may comment on. Okay, so whether the National Housing Fund you want, you want take do your money or waiting, you go, you go talk about that. So, buy or build. That's the next decision. How do you then raise money when you've decided? Ah, okay, I want to buy. Okay, or I want to build. How do you raise the money? Mm -hmm. So I tell people, you know, the last time we talked about desire, ben. we talked about knowledge, and we talked about action. Mm. Okay? That is the primary thing you have to do. We spoke about that last mm. week. If you missed that episode, check. <laughs> Go on. And I think the, prim I think the primary Go thing ahead. we need to do now is open phone line. Slimmy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, me, so that I know we'll be like saying I just chief and steamy line. They enjoy everything with Mr. Debo Carry come today. Uh, we they open the phone lines right about now, guys. Talk to us. If you get a question for Mr. Debo, you want to become a landlord and you don't think, say, you have to buy, you have to build, it's a choice. All you need is just to call us 0810543498 and of course 0817314789. The two numbers to call us on. So, guys, and of course, reduce your TV volume. Okay, so we'll be expecting your calls. Why we're expecting? So when we talk about how to raise fund, okay. you know, after you've decided to buy or to build, mm. you need to think about saving. You can't escape because it. Because there's no way you, you can't escape can have a land saving. without saving. Because <laughs> even if you get mortgage, it means that you would have to cut down on some yeah. of your expenses, yeah. which is also saving in one way or the other, because you are now saving to meet up with your mortgage obligation. So you need to think about how to save. It's very, very important. All these small, small isusu way people they do. Then <laughs> you need to put high for Ramu. And you will be surprised what can come out of it. Remember, I shared the story of a friend of mine, Mr. Peter. Ben, you know, where he first built for, uh, for Lagos, uh, for Songo, Songo water area. For then, for then, yeah. Again, build. One of the things Peter used, for example, when he got his land, I think the land, if I can remember again, was to be 90,000 naira. This was many Back years then, ago. Not now. Yes, many hey. years ago. 90,000 naira. Peter, I think, had 60,000 that he has saved, himself and his wife, oh. that he used as deposit. And if I remember very well, the next about 300 or so thousand that he got okay, you see what to we put said. into lucky that property. Lucky from Lagos. We are lucky to have Lucky. Okay, <laughs> Lucky, let's talk to you. Good morning, Lucky. Yeah, good morning, good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, pleased to meet you. Yeah. Happy to hear from you too. I got the boy day here. Your question, please. Oh, you're welcome, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Yes, I'm. Uh, I'm happy to hear your, your program this morning. I, I, I just came from the bathroom, so I said, uh, uh, let me listen to what you two are saying. So, okay. I, I concerning uh, uh, land property and the house issue, yeah. Okay. Uh, if, if you want to buy it, how do I come and uh, meet you with If you want to what? If you want to buy. If you want to buy. If I want to buy, yeah. Okay, well, uh, I think it's, as you continue to listen to us through the expansion, if you want to buy a property, uh, you need so to can, first... How can he come and meet you? How can he come and meet you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Okay. I think his, his details were shown not quite uh, long. They will be shown on the screen also. You get to see them again. So just copy a number after the show. 
you can give him a call, a call. and I'll show you guys we'll be able to talk better okay. on that. And if the number is not there, if the Instagram handle is there, you can just send, send me a DM, DM yes, can and then we can take it from there. Lucky, are you there? This seven wants to buy a property. She? And I know that ah. so, you people should know is when you buy the property finish, uh, you need spiritual father like us so to, to come and bless, bless the, house. the house. So you understand? And what would that do? I so don't that understand. We come and collect like money, money for for the blessing for of the, the prayers. Owadura, <laughs> 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 You need people like us. Can you buy a color? I have not bought to. You don't need to worry on how you buy your own house. That is where the money will come. That's 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 where Nicky Petty, no good, dream bad dream. In the house. No, no, no. I mean, I'm going to collect two million. Okay, to fortify the house. To fortify. Okay, like I was saying, so how to raise funds? You need to think about savings. You need to explore a lot of opportunities that we let go when we don't have projects or something before us. Like this is Susu I was talking about. I was talking about the example of Peter. And I remember that about the first 300,000 or so that he used in settling. The money for the land and starting his foundation work came from yes, Isusu. Isusu. Mm. He just organized, knowing now that he has a project, mm. he himself initiated. Yes, Isusu. Isusu. Mm. I think there were 12 of them also, and he collected first. Mm. You know, smart, he raised, smart, meaning that he would, he would have <laughs> done, he would have probably saved up 300,000 in one year yeah. in December. Yeah. But he was able to get it in January to mm. use it for the purpose mm. he needed it That's to use true. for. To, uh, you needed it for, and then be paying, paying back, back the other people yes. over time. So and look and explore. An I mean, I, I have always realized that it is usually the visionary people that start these things. Hmm. This hmm. is Susu and Co. So you will realize that when they come to you, they will already have some months that are already taken. Hmm. Because they've structured it in a way that will meet their own Personal yeah. requirement. So you will just fit in into whatever else and make the best use of whatever mm. you get. So initiate some of these things. You will be shocked how much you can get from this. I think mm. we have another caller. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. Hey, morning. How are you, sir? I'm fine, sir. How are you doing? I'm watching one TV. I'm watching your program. Oh, oh thank you. Nagejeku. Nagejeku, guys. I'm the last here. What exactly are you discussing? Uh, uh, we are, How to become, become a, a landlord? landlord. Becoming a landlord. Oh, guys, I get house. Becoming a landlord. Uh, becoming say you don't get a house. landlord. Okay, is it for me to become a landlord or my landlord are you talking about? No, we are not talking about your landlord. We are you, talking about you, you in particular becoming, a, becoming landlord. a landlord. Having a house, uh, your own house. Uh, how, how, how to rent a house house? Do you have a house as we speak? Are you a landlord? Yeah. No, I'm not a landlord, honestly speaking. But I see the way landlords are treated not people. Why do you think you are not a landlord yet? Why, your guys are? Honestly speaking, <laughs> why do I think I, I'm not a landlord? I see yet. Why are you why not never a landlord? What is landlord? delaying you? What, what, what is, what what? is delaying me? Uh, yes. From becoming one. Oh, honestly speaking, I think about it. Whoa! That's the essence of the show. So that I go think about them and, and it, get it, your own it, house. It, it, we are trying to awake uh, you guys. Uh, we're blessed uh, most of all this. One thing I one thing I did, this 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 person that you used to do a program of Koroko, I, I really like that person, honestly speaking. Okay. okay. Because I do I do watch what TV. I it's very interesting. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much <laughs> for your feedback. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Just uh, stay tuned and uh, keep watching. <laughs> Abi. So you earn, I mean, start uh, looking at all of these uh, uh, opportunities. Then extra earnings. Okay. I got the you side need money. to explore extra opportunities, More streams multiple of income. streams of income. You need to start exploring it. I will take the case of Peter again because I will use him to discuss Peter this. is our case study. In a way, yeah. you know. <laughs> Peter said that, I mean, one of the things that helped him, as a civil servant, he closes by four. Okay. He realized that he has enough time. A lot of time. We can't just go home by four and say he has finished. With this project, how will the project be completed? No, Conde, sit down so with he the picked harmonica. up a side marketing gig. Mm. What is side marketing gig? He joined one of these companies where we say you go join. They sell their products. They go, they give you commission. Okay. You understand? As you join them, they go himself and his wife. Mm. So what they do, we say, once he closes by four, he goes on that marketing trip. 
till about seven or eight, eight. before he starts heading mm. home. Which is not bad. And funny enough, when he calculated how much he got from that side gig that went into his project, it was almost like half of what he needed to build. Mm. Mm. So when a civil servant that was earning about 70000 or so at mm. the time, then says that in two years he was able to build a two-bedroom flat, mm. buy land and build a two-bedroom flat, people would say, how come? Even if he wasn't spending any money out of his salary, he wouldn't have still been able to achieve it. These are some side of the gig. ways. To follow the that gig sweet for your mouth. Maybe side gig. See? I'm all on the Side gig. <laughs> Make it as you know, finish. Come go there, sit down for for say you don't want to go there. Go there, discuss your money with married women for your company. You know, yeah, wow. Say never, you know, come to the today. You know, come up with union. You know, side gig, side gig, new. So you have to explore other means of making money. A lot of us have talents in us. Mm. We have opportunities that we are not recognizing or announcing because the need has not arisen. Mm. But when the need arises or you put yourself under that pressure, that good pressure, those other good side of you starts start to come out. out. Yes. Okay. You actually start to, I mean, Milk squeeze out. Some other. You start to squeeze out the juice that you have, that you've not explored all this while. So it's important uh, that you look at that. Then if you have to borrow. Okay, we have that. That would have that. That would have that from Bauchi. Wow. Bauchi colors. Hello, Dalda. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Are you a landlord? I'm not, I'm not a landlord, but I have an experience of being a landlord. Oh, oh you okay. have an experience, okay? You want yes. to share with yes. us or you want to... <laughs> to be a landlord, you have to invest. You have to, have invest. to invest. Yes. Yes. Invest in building. <laughs> invest in any of some of the business that are lived. Hmm. Property. Uh, uh, in short, if you are in building... Build enough for rented, then you become the landlord of that houses that you are collecting. Rent from, um, yes, of course, yes, yes, yes. Yes. So if you are not uh, business rented, sometimes you will not you will not be a good landlord. <laughs> mm, that's true. Mm. And if you look at it, sometimes when you get a landlord, landlord will be harassing people. Mm. We are, I cannot call those people as a good landlord. Mm. Harassing Being people. a landlord is the same thing as you're a businessman. Avi? Well, yes. thank you very much, Dauda. Thank you. Thank you thank so you. much for, thank for, you, for your contribution. Now, we will talk about this mentality sometimes down the line. When people think that landlord usually would harass them, you know, what brings that about? Some people go tell you, we landlord, know that, you know, put me. And we know house. that there are good people and there That's are bad people. Now, yeah. Yeah, so there would always be good landlords and good bad landlords. landlords. So also there are good tenants and, and very bad tenants. stubborn tenants. And so tenants, tenants. <laughs> they do like say, no go build a house. <laughs> exactly. And when people start to, especially, you know, the grounds of most people is that, ah, why is it that landlord would always increase their, mm. their yes. rent? But you must realize that the house is an investment. Mm. That's mm. the truth. If somebody, take for example, somebody like my dad, I mean, that's not necessarily what he does, but I'm just using him as an example mm -hmm. because of his status right mm -hmm. now. He's a retiree. Okay. Mm. Meaning that there is no other so means, means of, of income. income. You know yeah. what the pension figure is like. Mm -hmm. It's not enough to even sustain you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and this is someone that has suffered all through his work life to build mm -hmm. some flat yes. apartments. Expecting that at least the tenants will pay as at when due. And he would have planned his life with so, that. Yes. Then yes. the yes. tenant will just be carefree <laughs> about <laughs> rent. Seven rent months. will come. That's when he will suddenly realize that rent has come. Rent gives you, in Nigeria, if you are paying yearly, for example, rent gives you 12 months notice. So it's not like he's... From he's the dead. month you mm -hmm. paid the first one, you know mm -hmm. that in 12 months' time... You have to pay another. The other will be due. But people don't do nothing about it. Or when it's now 12 months, he will now go to the landlord and say, sorry, give my landlord, give me some time. Yeah. Not knowing that that man also, <laughs> or that woman also has, has plans. Eza, I want money. I want money. That's when the, the children will be on board. I want money. I want money. I want that in one month. She allies. We need to travel home. And we spent a lot. Time of money, you're going to tell you, they need to pay school. You can imagine. Can I ask, which my home? Oh, home more. I mean, I know I'm going to tell you. A colleague was sharing something over the weekend with me, and he said he went to one tenant 
Do you know that the tenant had the F1 tree, the guts to be telling him that, sorry, you see that car there? I don't want BM, it. I just bought it. Hmm. So I'm <laughs> under pressure for money. Are you kidding uh, me? Give me some time. <laughs> Maybe we get mine. He bought a new right? car, but he doesn't have money for his rent. A new car. Sir, another thing. Okay. And he's not having mis money for his rent. Misplaced priority. B based, on what mis you priority. Just, based on what you just said now, sir, I've come to realize that, and I want you to talk about um, small, some tenants a day, where we say they can't want to wait the park inside landlord house. I think that will be after Prosper. Let's take it after <laughs> Prosper. Prosper, good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Prosper sir. Prosper from Oshun. From your name, you should be a landlord. She? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm here to be a landlord. Okay. You will be, you will be obviously. Be landlord. Very soon. Good morning. <laughs> Any question or contribution? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm still going to be a landlord soon. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so. sir. Yes, yeah, sir. So. Can you turn down your TV volume? Yeah, I want to ask a question. All right, please. Go, go ahead. ahead. All right, thank you. Um, please, Gonzani, how to become how to become a landlord or how to go about it? The location. Okay. Okay. You want to know about how to decide on location? Yes. So please, I I don't know. You know, location are varies. Like now in Osun State. Yes. What is it, sir? Go ahead, or should stay there with you. What? Yes, for example, in Osun State, we have various uh, locations. Okay. Is it we are, like going to the military of survey, like getting the CFO, I'm confused about that, or getting the location first about what going to the CFO or right of occupancy? Oh, okay. Thank you very much, Prosper. I think we'll talk about documentation, uh, stages and steps, and what to go through in terms of uh, acquiring a piece of property. We'll talk about that, I mean, sometime in the future. Well, but let me, just, yeah. let me just answer your question briefly. You see, it's very important. We've talked about how to decide on location mm. when you want to buy. But bear in mind, we are talking about your first house here. And we've said that it does not necessarily mean that you have to live there. Affordability should be the first thing that you are considering, where you can afford right now. Because when you do that now, you give yourself better opportunity and you put yourself in a, in a better stand to be able to, okay, get more properties in the future as you go on. So, in terms of location, look at where you can afford. Mm, like you said. Very important. For look that at where you can afford. Within Oshobo. If you, for example, work in Oshobo, mm -hmm. and you can't afford the Oshobo Oshobo's environment. I mean, yeah. Ikiru is there. Ikiru yeah. yeah. is there. <laughs> uh, Iwo may be a bit far from, uh, if he wants to work in Oshobo. Proximity. Exact proximity, you know. But uh, Ikiru is there. Iraq is there. Ada is there. You know, these places really? are close yeah. to, I mean, Oshobo, very close to Oshobo. And you can commute from there to walk yeah. back and forth, you know. So look at that very importantly. Then in terms of documentation, what to do to confirm that you are buying genuine property <laughs> and all of that, I mean, stay tuned to this channel. That's what I would advise you. And we'll break that down, I mean, going forward. But most importantly, that? explore using professionals in taking yes. your landed transaction decisions. Hmm. Very, very important. So, yes. A professional will guide you, okay, and ensure that your money is well invested. Hmm. That's Thank what I would you. have for you. Mr. Adebo, before we get that call, they talk about, I want to make you react to some people. Maybe mm. say, inside the house, where they live? They yeah, are one motto. They get to Yes. They are one motto if you buy, buy the, the house. house. Mm. So the landlords, every good they fear, say, ah, ah, this you walk up on you And you know, get land. Piece of land. land. You know, the funny, there's this joke that is, uh, that is available online. You know, a lot of these prop, uh, uh, um, vehicles, especially the a particular brand, mm. you see land something, something mm. land, land something. Benny, Benny, That's Benny. their names. Benny, Benny. Usually land this, mm, land, land that, that, or something Benny. land, and mm. all of that. And people say, a lot of people buying this don't have they any piece of real estate. At all. You know? Their own land be that. Well, that, that. Their own land be that, you know? So, yes, there are people like that. Uh, Slimmy talked about um, misplaced priority. You know, some people don't have their priorities right. Mm. Some have their genuine, cogent reason mm. 
for doing what it is. Because some of these vehicles you see, some people drive, is their company vehicle. Yeah. Whether or not they can afford it, the company has given them because of their status at their place of work. Mm. You know? Mm. So it's not necessarily yeah. their yeah. own or yeah. something that they bought with their money. Mm. So they are forced, it's forced on them as it were. Mm. If they have to so keep their job, choice, they have to drive yeah. those kind of vehicles. Ben, ben. For those ones, it's understandable. Like my own too. You know, yeah, like you your, your, like your Lambo. Lamborghini, they, they, they force it on me. Hey, who force it on you? you? Wait, 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 no, no, wait, 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 that that my car. I say, yeah. Well, 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 from Kano. Ah, I love it. 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 I beg them. 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 I hope we've not lost Solomon. Solo. Okay. Good morning. Good morning, sir. How are you now? We are now. We are now. Solomon, the landlord. I are watch you now. We are now. Thank you, Jerry Solo. Thank you, Jerry Solo. Thanks. Okay, please, uh, two questions. Okay. okay. One is, uh, it's not that easy to uh, uh, get a loan from the housing. Okay, yeah. The, the requirement to get CO4 is not an easy thing. Yeah. Are you, are you understand what I'm talking about? Yes. And it's one of the requirements. Yes. I don't know if I'm, I'm on the right track. Yes, in a way, yes, it's one of the requirements if you must get loan. Yes, it's, it to. is very, it is very difficult to get CO4. Mm. And and I'm a civil servant. Mm. Mm. I've mm. been contributing to National Housing Fund. Yes, and the way it is, it is not easy for us. Some of our guys retired; they have mm. not been able to get their money mm. to build house. Mm. Mm. Because of, uh, you know, bottleneck, the you know, mm. it's not an easy thing for us. How do we overcome this? How do you overcome that? Okay. How do we overcome that? Uh, That's okay. number one. Number two. Go how, ahead. Is it advisable to buy a property? You don't know the, the materials they use mm. to build that the structure. How, how is it advisable? Mm. It may be cheap, but you don't know mm. the composition, yeah. how, they, how they build the structure, mm. how long it will last. Mm. Okay. That's another problem, to, mm. to buy a, a, a building. To buy in properties. Mm. Yes. Okay, so long. And you know, it may it also require renovation. Yeah, of uh, course. Sure. Of course, to type, mm. to your taste. Okay, yes. Solomon, yes. thank you very much for your questions. If I start from the... Second one, the last one, okay? I would say that um, there are things to do. We call it due diligence, ordinarily, okay. when you are buying anything. Mm. You know, in the real estate world, it is caveat emptor, <laughs> meaning buyers, buyers mm. beware. Be because the buyer is the one parting with money mm. all of the time. Mm. And once you part with money, it's really very difficult to get okay. it back yeah. if you realize that you've been swindled. Mm. So you are always at alert. You are always cautioned. Okay, as the buyer, to really look into what it is that you are buying before you pass with money. Yeah. Yeah. So I, you, I will usually advise people to do their due diligence. And that's why I would always tell people that if you want to do any property transaction, ensure you're using qualified professionals. Okay. okay? And there are a number of them that would help you make your investment a reality. Okay. You are starting from the land surveyor who has a role to play, mm -hmm. the estate surveyor or agent or realtor, the lawyer. These three uh, professions are very, very, very key Sophia. when you are buying lawyer. Yes, when you are buying uh, property. landed properties. Very, very important in doing your due diligence. Okay? Then if you don't want to buy a building and you want to look at it, maybe you want to call your engineer to come and help you look at it, do integrity tests if it is necessary and all. Or even check out the companies that you are buying from. Mm. What's mm. their reputation? Mm. Okay. okay. What are they known for? Do you understand? Mm. If they are known for doing quality stuff, mm. then at least that can give you some level of assurance. Mm. If, they, if you've gotten across to them, 
via referral. Mm. That can give you some level of assurance because for somebody that you know to be telling you that they are good or that he has bought from them and he has mm. enjoyed or is mm. enjoying what it is, then it gives you some level of assurance. Then you do your other, your own other due diligence, mm. you know, to be able to. And we will deal with some of these things that you have to do mm. in total. We will mm -hmm. break it down in terms of what to do from stage one to the last mm -hmm. when you are acquiring a uh, property. Yeah. property. Yes. Yeah. Ah, we will. Mm -hmm. We have a lot to discuss. So if just I, stay tuned maybe you and go, make sure that you are regularly, I mean, you are here you, all the time. You help us bring yeah. down. You help us bring Sophia one day. Because why not land Sophia and yeah. all of that? So why not? Why not? Why not? You now, Sophia, you, you, want, you, want, you want face. Me, I want to ask the you, issue of land. We your village land. land. Yeah, yeah, it's not making me see talk now. So, let me go to the I get love for Island now. Yeah. And I don't want to have it. You, you, you don't want to show yourself. I don't want to see what I said. Is he speaking of the house now? Yeah. For instance, that may I go one ask some people he talk say he gets, I don't know if it's a fallacy or mm. if it's true. Say he gets man seen where they feel take dictate if house, structure of house, if you don't weak, I be see the car, car, car. Then land sinking through the mm. issue of say make a person you know say some people like say calf fifty beef um uh, storm say buy out make the day careful <laughs> some people you buy say house yeah and people you know they careful where be say the house, the house they they sink, sink, and yeah. they don't go tell you they want to quickly collect their own the money, money and and go. And don't go say some uh monthly day where some fear if you take no say ah this building you don't weak the way we do this, I mean, I like, say, like, like, machine, like, betu, betu, or something. Yeah, like, no, like, thermometer. When they just put that away, they are saying, Biri, biri, let you, riba, let you, You get that thing. When you say, you put that, you go just say, this house is 40 years. He is good. I be this house. Like, it's here, machine. He or something like that. If you do, you won't be doing anything. I be no buy this house. You won't break. No, you won't buy this house. It will collapse now. You won't break. I won't get machine like that today. Okay, well, there are methods and there are, of course, equipments and machines that are used in conducting integrity tests. Is what we are talking about. Mm -hmm. Integrity majorly. test. Integrity test on existing buildings to see whether they are still uh, structurally intact. Okay? okay, and all of that. Yes, there are ways, procedures, methods, and machines that are used by professionals to do that. Engineers, structural engineers, mechanical, and all of that. Civil engineers do all of these things to check, I mean, uh, to test uh, the integrity of these properties. Yes, that's part of the due diligence we are talking about that mm. somebody should do. Then answering uh, Solomon, I think, Solomon's yeah. first question about the ease of getting title is a problem. I must admit that to you. It's a problem, okay, generally in the country. And um, But there are ways by which look for existing transactions, existing projects, okay, that you can key into. That may be able to help you both take advantage of your NHF and also get easily documentable transactions, okay? okay. Thank okay. you very much uh, for today. It's been our pleasure. Thank we'll you. meet you some other time next week. I Bye, mean, this guys. same time next week. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Bye.